Hey guys, welcome back to another Driven Plus video and look what we've got for you. The Range Rover Sport SV. And let's go take a look who's in the driver's seat. Hello, Mr. Baker, how are Hi, you, Max. sir? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good, mate. Now, what have you got for us today? So we've had a few uh, comments yep. about the SV and the exhaust, etc. Yeah. So we reached out to our good friends at uh, Quicksilver yep. Sound Architects because we know how good they are with um, all things Range Rover and Land Rover. Very true. Um, and with them being the Sound Architects, we said, well, what can you do to the to the SV? What I didn't want was something as noisy and larry as the SVR because my old SVR used to annoy the neighbours. It was a loud um, car. But I wanted something that sounded like more more akin to the car it is, which is a you know, it's a fast car, so it I is, wouldn't yeah. say supercar, but it's yeah. at least a super SUV. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we've uh, we've had them do some work for us. Yeah, because I think with with modern day cars, all these OPS and PPS, they they do lose their soul. So we wanted to address that problem. Yeah. As you said, take it to Quicksilver. And I wanted an exhaust that, because I'm not a modder, I'm not an I'm not a, a modder. Yeah. So I wanted to make sure that the car didn't lose its warranty. Yeah, um, you know, didn't void anything, which European Union allows you to do an awful yeah, lot of things. Yeah, that's true. Um, and you know, we adhere to them as the UK now, even though we've left. Because um, so, I'm not a big modder, so I checked with the dealership and everything, and you know, the the proof has to be that the exhaust done it. But I, this is a cat back, yeah. so all the OPF, all the cats, all the downpipes, they're all standard. They've changed the the part back, so there's an X pipe in here. So the, now. yeah, I was going to say, so they've put an X pipe cut back system. And so shall we, let me go have a look. Let's give it a, uh, as you can see down here, Quicksilver the exhaust there. It looks really, really good. And it's, it's uh, one thing I like about it, Troy, is the fact that they've kept the uh, the carbon fiber trim. So yeah. if you have to look really hard to know it's been upgraded, which I like, it's nice and subtle. Well, they've also set the, uh, um, if you look at it, they've actually set the pipes back from each other. Give it a rev, Troy. Well, this, how do you, uh, what level do you want me to rev it in, though, Max? What level? So, right, go on then. The Just, car yeah. has obviously, if you come around here and look, you've got, when it's in uh, clear as it is there, yeah. that's non SV mode. Okay. And then when you press the button, you turn into SV. And it goes over Which changes red, yeah. the mapping of the engine. So, yeah. you, so SV does that. Now, I also have on my controller here, yeah. I can open and close. The valve, so that now is closed. Oh, I just heard it. Hang on, right, do it again. Let's, let's wait there. So do it. Do it again. So, so is it closed now? That's closed now. Can you actually see them closed? No, you can't. Okay. Right. So rev it with them closed. With SV or without SV? Without SV. So this is closed. Okay. With SV, normal, just yeah. not no SV. And open them up. Oh yeah. That, that sounds great. So now I'll press the SV. Okay. Do you want it open and closed? Do whatever you like. So this is closed. Okay. And SV. And this is open with SV. So, so this is open. Yeah. When you look at the overall look, compared to the old SVR, it's very elegant, it's very, very classy. And one thing which Quicksilver done is maintain that classy like feel, haven't they? Oh, they've given it such a deep uh, thing. So they've done, you know, obviously we will link to, Quicksilver will do a video themselves. Yeah, yeah. And there'll be a collaboration between well, our we'll, channel we'll, and their channel on, on we'll, this exhaust. Hopefully we'll overlay some clips that they've sent us as well. Yeah, but the, um, but what they wanted to do was they checked the valves, because obviously with this car, yeah. be it, um, a Range Rover have done a little bit different. Okay. So the valves didn't work as they predicted they would. Yeah. So this car keeps the valves open now through the whole rev range. Yeah. So you get the sound all the time. So whilst driving it, it naturally feels quicker when you're under load because you're getting the sound. Yeah. Which yeah. the previous exhaust, it seemed to go as you went faster, it closed the, the valve. So it got a little bit more muted. So you didn't get the passion behind the drive. Whereas this now is more like more akin to say my McLaren, 
where the noise is there yeah. and the the urgency yeah. when you're driving. Well, I'll tell you what then, should we do some uh, flybys so the viewers get to hear? Yeah, cool. It's a, it's a great location to do it in. Nice little tunnel as well, so the yeah. the sh sound shall, uh, what's the word? Reverberate. Reverb. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Does it? Reverberate. 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 <laughs> or I could do this like they're doing Carwell. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> do what? Do this like we do in Carwell. <laughs> If I get known for that, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. what's this? The flapper. The flapper. <laughs> okay then, um, what we're going to do then is cut to a quick scene of the Range Rover Sport SV doing a few flybys. Punch it, Chewy. loud <laughs> that's such a beast that was terrifying <laughs> that is so loud when you can't oh, really just, really loud that hurt my ears under under load that's what i'm saying with the rev limiter which is a european thing that i've been told can be taken away yeah if i play about with the ecu yeah you don't BMW, want to do that yeah s60 you know the bmw engine s63 t don't know yeah whatever yeah. it is apparently it's you've got to break it Break crack into the ECU. It, crack it. Yeah. Now yeah. with over the air upgrades. Yeah. Every time they upgrade the software over the air, it'll take it out. So for me, this is everything I wanted it to be. Well, I think Quicksilver have done an amazing job. So big thanks Absolutely. to uh, to you guys over at uh, Quicksilver. So check them guys out if you want your Range Rover SV upgrading because. Uh, yeah. And you want it to sound. And you want it to sound great. We like definitely recommend it, don't we? <laughs> So there we go, thanks Troy for getting in another video and uh, thank you for watching at home. Okay, wave goodbye Troy. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Ask him to subscribe. Oh, subscribe, yeah. click, add. We're so close now to 10,000 subscribers. Get clicking. Thank you. As Troy says it. Thank you, bye-bye.